Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. I am just running out the door to go and get my hair cut. It definitely needs quite a bit off the ends. It's very dry. There is a lot of building going on outside my house. So I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing my uh, Ray-Ban Aviators. This blazer is very old, it's from Primark. I think the t-shirt is from Primark, jeans are Levi's. I've got these brand new shoes that are kind of, I don't know, would you call them? I guess they're loafers, penny loafers. Um, yeah, they're really nice. I have never worn them before and I'm actually going to London next week. So I just wanted to make sure that they were comfortable. I'm wearing a belt from Amazon and my vintage Lulu Guinness handbag. My mum actually found this bag at a charity shop in uh, Molden and she paid 20 pounds for it which is unbelievable because it's such a beautiful bag. So that is what the bag looks like. It's not in perfect condition, but I actually kind of like that with leather handbags. The fact that it's a leather handbag full stop and that it cost only 20 pounds is unbelievable. But yeah, talk about a find. All right, let's go. We're just in the Oxfam bookstore and they have a music department upstairs and films and Grease 2 is one of my favourite films. It gets a lot of slack but I love it. And I was just having a look over here and look they have a Wham! single. This is Bad Boys. Oh my god this is such a classic. I might have to get that. I'm just in Primark and I'm keeping my voice down. I actually really like this t-shirt but what is going on with these slogan tees? Because I think they're meant to be inspirational, but I just can't imagine anyone wearing them. Sorry if you have got one of these, but there's one um, my friend Tatiana and I saw in London and it said, yeah, take time to grow. What the hell? I had to do a voiceover here because the background was so noisy, but I decided to go into M&S, which is something I do every time I go into town. I saw that they had their advent calendars out, which I know is crazy, but I thought that that Nespresso one was quite a good idea, although I don't have an espresso machine, but if you do, I think that's kind of cool. And I think these snowy pretzels look really delicious. Does anyone else just walk around the M&S food hall when they've got a little bit of time? I just love seeing what they have. Um, you also, you have to get, if you like fruit and nut, if you like Toblerone, you have to get one of these. The Swiss chocolate from M&S is some of the best I have ever tasted. And I saw Whispering Angel for £19. Is it really as good as everyone says? Um, leave me a comment. I had to film the flowers. Again, I actually had a lot of my wedding flowers in vases from M&S. A little tip there if you're getting married. And uh, yeah, they look beautiful. Now for the fragrances. So we all know that I have the white coconut fragrance and it was available in my local M&S. Um, I did try this one, which was the fresh bergamot. Didn't really like that. But red berries and rose, that was a really beautiful fragrance. I may well get that and I love this shirt and I think for £25 that is such a bargain. I really feel as though M&S has stepped up their style game. I know that I'm getting older as well <laughs> so we've met in the middle but yeah the bags, the fragrances, the clothing, um, I'm so impressed and it really is actually one of my favourite shops to look around. I really trust the quality in M&S, you know the items appear to be really well made and the prices are good. 
Hi guys, it's a new day. I had planned on vlogging because today I went to Brentwood, which is somewhere that I haven't actually been for so long. Funny story, I actually used to be an extra on TOWIE back in the day. It was a lot of fun and obviously a lot of the scenes were shot in Brentwood, particularly the Sugar Heart and Brentwood High Street. Today I went with my mum and dad. We just wanted to go for um, a bite to eat. We had a coffee and we just, my mum and I wanted to have a look around the charity shops to see if we could find any bargains. Sadly, we didn't, um, but, but it was so busy that I couldn't really film because I don't like to film people or get people in the background, you know, who probably don't want to be on my YouTube. So anyway, whilst I was there, the one thing I came back with, hilarious, I got pistachio and almond cookies. So I went all the way to Brentwood to get some cookies, but these were completely free. On my Sparks card, every now and again, I get a free treat. And this time I could choose some cookies and I love anything pistachio. So I've never tried these before, but they look absolutely delicious. So that is what I came home with. When I got home, I also just popped out to my local Lidl. <laughs> so exciting. Um, but I wanted to mention a couple of things. So this rosé wine, this is, it's called, is it Exquise? It's not exquisite. <laughs> rosé um, Prestige 2022. Now this is £7.49. It comes in this really beautiful bottle. It tastes amazing. So it's not too sweet. It's not too dry. It's just the perfect wine, particularly on a hot summer's day. So that is the wine that I really enjoy to drink from Lidl. I also picked up a bunch of flowers. I haven't had flowers for a little while and I really like these this particular bunch i buy them quite a lot because they last well they're only two pound 99 they smell gorgeous but yeah how pretty are those i never wait to be bought flowers if i want them i will get them myself um also another couple of things that i just really quickly wanted to talk about number one is this ysl lipstick this is the um what's it called rouge volupte candy and this is the shade nude it's so nice. Kind of like a lip balm texture. It makes your lips look so much um, bigger than they are. Feels incredible. So hydrating. And the packaging is just gorgeous. So I have been absolutely loving this lipstick. And also, this is a bit of a shame, but the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless. This is a three-in-one airbrush finish spf 20 vegan friendly um foundation and mine is the shade well it's not the shade i have is c40 light ivory sadly it's far too light for my skin so i think they're going to send me a slightly darker one um this will probably work out really well for my mum so i will uh, give it to her and see if she likes it but i tell you the formula is so good it really does give your skin that kind of like velvety airbrushed effect. It's it's like, it looks like your skin, but more perfected. It's a gorgeous foundation. Um, it's just such a shame that the color isn't right for me. So I'm really looking forward to trying it in another shade. And of course, as always, I will let you know how I get on. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I post every single Wednesday and Sunday at 7 p.m. I'm not sure what my next video is going to be. I have got a very exciting event in London next week. I'll definitely be filming that. It's a beauty event. I also have a modeling shoot next week for um, a brand that I've worked with previously. So I'll see if I can bring you along with me, but I'm not sure about that one. But uh, yeah, I hope that you have a lovely day, whatever it is you're doing, and I hope to see you very soon. Bye.